Welcome back, still basking in great reviews generated by his first ever appearance at Rebel Salute. Look up to the hills, come here, come and tell, this is the way I feel, politicians are going Bounty Killer comes to our stage right now to weigh in on that performance and just about everything else in dancehall. Bounty Killer, right now, right here, on stage. Killer. Connect. <laughs> Blessed love, sir. Give that. Thanks for coming in and reporting. You know, the fans <laughs> have been asking us, when is Killer coming to talk about year 2013 and season, uh, Yuletide season 2013? So, <laughs> so, Killer, first thing, first up, we, we should, first of all, congratulate you for that performance at Web Salute. Thanks, thanks. It was a mystery to, to lots of people. We saw you at Hennessy Artistry. Yeah. So we know that you're comedic. We know you can sing. We know you can DJ. <laughs> and you did about two hours at that show. Yeah. So we know you have the material. But I was trying to remember, what are the songs that Killer uh, is going to do at Rebel Salute? Trying to look in your catalog. And I couldn't come up with a credible list. But when we saw the performance, then we said, wow, oh, yes. But after all, these songs, some of them are angry and cross, but clean enough for a yeah, Rebel Salute. Yeah, yeah, presentation. It was clean enough. But it was a vibe that I need to execute in my career because I have a cultural side and I'm a very cultural man. Of people know me rooted in my culture and I love positiveness and upliftment. So Rebel Salute was a show that I've been eyes in for years, but I never really have the full catalog of cultural mm -hmm. songs. The Ennis artistry, it, it was smooth, but more hardcore because yeah. enough of the hardcore songs was in it. The, yes. the Rebel Salute, was a different one, straight, mostly cultural one, mm -hmm. and little hardcore but clean ones. Mm -hmm. So it was like, since I do Western consciousness twice, and the Hennessy artistry, I, I have this better song that I realized that can do a full set of cultural. And in this side of the world, I don't see culture get that real exposure like a rebel salute though. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle, not just sing culture music. Yes. But you know, it's really a root show. Mm -hmm. High tal vibes and. No alcohol and. Yo, young yeah, no people they pan reggae bed and a long time we don't see that from mm -hmm. reggae sunsplash days. So it's mostly Europe, we get them vibes here. Yes. So when I see it in the Caribbean at home, I really feel like I'm missing out on something. And you use it, uh, it's also, you're celebrating 20 years this year, Killer? Yeah, and it's your 20th is 21. anniversary yeah, it's as an artist. timing, yeah. And that's when, so Rebel Salute, you're using it as a platform to start the celebrations. Yeah, definitely. And I think I'm going to have a fans appreciation concert somewhere, a big free one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after 20 years, because I've still seen a lot of people we more who was at the concert that saying, well, I was from Dub for Dub days. Great performance. You know, yes. so it's still good to know that people still on board from the first song mm -hmm. until this day. So, appreciation party would be great. So, how was 13 for you, 2013? Sum it up for, for me. 2013 was good. Yeah, I got a good run. Got some nice hits on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were mo mostly making hits. Your, your presence in, in media, in radio, on radio and so on was very good. But you weren't at some of the big shows. Sting, for example. Why weren't at Sting? Well, <laughs> everybody know when it comes to Sting, Sting always have a problem with what artists really required and demand to perform. Mm -hmm. And I asked for a certain fee and it was declined so that's all they didn't want to pay me what i asked for mm -hmm. and, and, just and never so no no deal could be reached well comment on the show for me what you thought of it well the show was a good production mm -hmm. it was great performances but sting is known as a hardcore platform and hardcore was missing mm -hmm. as you know it's just the two little clash make you feel like a thing with it. it seemed like a big festival. Okay. You understand? Some people were behaving too proper, you think? Not really proper, but the, the type of artist, the okay. presentation is not that. So they couldn't even go pretend to be anything. The else? hardcore people weren't there. Mm -hmm. You understand? Bounty Killer, Mad Cobra, missing. Mm -hmm. That's our platform. Okay. My father was there, but he's more like on an international level. I don't know, he's having fun with the girl. Mm -hmm. that, that's the other two hardcore artists I would say would have to take a certain energy or spirit and there wasn't and that vibes during the end of the year. Yes. It would be a bounty or a mad cabra would bring that sting energy in the morning. Mm -hmm. Different from artists have to clash to create the hardcore energy. 
So I think that was missing. And so the clash was all right, you think? The, the clash, clash, yeah, the, the clash, clashes was the clash good. worked? Yeah, they work. Mm -hmm. Keep rich and black rhino, unexpectedly, but it, it works. And yes. ladies are uh, Maka Diamond. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a female thing. It's kind of different. So them kind of go a little crunchy on one another. But <laughs> it's all right to me. I like it. All right. So what about your ex? The, the banning of your ex and the reported leg Banning spreading. of what? For what? For As a patron. So why well, an, an artist? It's the first you ever see a girl come and go on with antiques and X-rated behavior and say, that's dance hall. Yes. When since thing become a gospel concert and they got so righteous. <laughs> who, 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 what, what, what caused that? I'm knowing, I know they're not doing that for free. Yes. Are they making this stance for a fee? Yeah. Because if it does not really recognize to make a stance for free, why make a stance for a fee? That means that you are doing this for money. You're selling all the artists. Mm -hmm. The main thing, oh, Sizzla must be banned for what? He has never done this thing without saying all these things before. Mm -hmm. All the thing he sang in the songs <laughs> recently, he done it last year and the year before. Okay. And they were school with it. So it's rubbish. This it's rubbish. Is... No, it's, it's sell out, sell out. Yeah, sell out dance hall artists for your fee. But I hope all these people will be here 10 or 20 or 30 years after to support things the same way mm -hmm. that you take inside against the artists is far. Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with what they've done. They do it all the time, and that is dance hall culture. And you can't have a dance hall show and take out the culture. Uh, you, you, um, I, I need to go back to, to um, the angel a bit because she's under pressure for a, a, a photo out there, killer, a, a photo that is circulating all over the cyberspace. Oh, the one with she performed and the cameraman. Um, but you it, looked like, it? it looked like a, a, a wardrobe, mister. <laughs> 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 you know it happened on stage, man, especially with female, you understand? Because they're way more fashionable something, you know. Yes. Eh? Sometimes breeze and light do other things with it. It know? wasn't her doing. It don't look like an intentional something, man. That looked like a, a just a, uh, why you miss that, man? <laughs> yes, but uh, do you think it hurt her career? Because it's, it's quite yeah, a Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's hurting in a character way, yes, but if it was something that she intentionally was doing, it could hurt her personally, but it just don't look good. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand, up on stage, and the cameramen, them nowadays, them deliberately want to do shots like those. If you do when they're at the party, you see the video, man, they push the camera under the phone and them. It don't look good. Mm -hmm. Some of the video, man, they want telling you that to that. It looks like it's a porn video you're making. Are you making a dance hall video or a porn video? You understand? Not because a female male gyrating and rare. Why you want to show us on the R? Yeah, you want to see all about the R, not just on yeah. the R? So you're defending the angel? Well, I'm not defending the angel, but I don't see she do anything out of the way whenever it happened before. Yes. All right, that's what pay per view all of a sudden now. Pay per view. You, you, yeah, you can't do certain things. Mm. So what, what is things? Sting is not Sting again. Okay. It's a festival, it's a swing. Mm -hmm. But you still give props to the production. The production was and great. And the effort yeah, to it put it something Should it be upgrading. on pay-per-view? Well, if you're going to be on pay-per-view and you know you have certain criteria yes. and speculation, you should make that clear to the artists. But I don't think them give artists proper instruction. Them just did not take pay-per-view and just <laughs> make artists go up on stage <laughs> and then when things happen, them start talking about ban and take a side. That's foolish. Okay. I know if you ask his like not to sing certain thing, he, he will perform good. He can perform smooth. But I think a sting. We go sting them up. Yes. Who wouldn't dare think that? So you think they weren't properly briefed about they weren't briefed properly properly? Yeah, I would say I would want to think that. Okay. The Marcos naked video. Um, um porn video. This well, I've you know seen it? it has get a little clip or something where somebody sent me, but he look away, you know, man. Them something there. We have remembered we have a culture in a dance hall, music, you know. And you can't have the dance hall and lift out the culture. Mm -hmm. What we are promote, what dance hall stand for, what it's against. Because some of the things, them, and a dance hall that. You understand? Two, Two girls, Ray Ray. Yeah, it, it gone overboard. And I like you and a girl having it out. You understand? Girls, pan girls that are not supposed to be recognized as dance hall music. Mm -hmm. That means uh, that we are promoting now. You remember? You freaky freaky. You took the freaky freaky. Remember them song the dance hall used to sing? Yes. And it looked like dance hall music, freaky freaky. You know, because you hear your man say, Where the freak girl them there? Ray Ray, notice all the song they used to go in. You know? mm -hmm. 
Freaky, 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 you too freaky, freaky. And Miki, Miki had that. Them used to sing in the 80s, 90s, you know. And then you see here, man, I bleach. Them I bleach out them skin, but me honor you. You know, bleach out your skin. Everything turned the other way, you know. The song, them I say, me want the bleacher girl, I me want the freaky girl. So you realize, said so the youth, them nowadays, going against the root and the foundation of the music. Mm -hmm. So you know that's abomination. They're not standing with the culture and the foundation. They don't respect what was made possible for them to come be a part of. Them ruin it. Yes. After a while, dance all be just like hip hop, where them sing about this and that and that, like pop, where everything involved, all inclusive. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and that's why a... dance all was the main music because most things excluded. Yes. It used to be pure and just pull up peer vibes and roots and culture. But now, they put back everything in it. They know this generation. Mm -hmm. They will mash up the music. That's not good. We're not talking against the marker, but that action, other artists are endorse it too. As you see, cartel, it's a freaky girl, them thing that me love. I guess they're trying to be another cartel. So, a couple of people have set the wrong example. All right, Killa, this, this, this boxing up of, of selectors, uh, what, what's your take on it? Foolish disrespect. I don't know, boxing up a selector for what? Mm. Over the years, I've heard about selector getting disrespect and assaulted for not playing song or must you know, big up the artist or him play the song, round spot or... But, but what the benefit of that? What the objective? What, 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 you, what you want to achieve from boxing up a selector? You want to make him know how bad he is or how much people can do him things so you or you want him to do something for your career or your song? Because mm -hmm. if you box up a selector for play the song today, it no guarantee him to play it tomorrow. And where your song playing today can do for your career? Yes. And what kind of event that? And who did it? The Queen? The royal family? And, kind of and that box of work will not be forgotten. Yeah, what the benefit of it. You're going to live for the rest of your life yeah. with that hanging over And you me. need every selector in the world to play you to make you have the world it. Yes. And if another selector heard that you this a selector to play your song, you think it's going to be impressive to him to want to play it? So it's just an ego thing, you know, and a bad mind thing, and a bad man thing, or I don't know, but there's no achievement after an artist, make an artist, make a selector got disrespect. To play him song, he not gain nothing more than the ego for feel like, oh, you mean them boy? Then. So it's just a bad mind thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't see what the benefit of it, a foolish. But I never try to endorse that, you know, much party me there. And me not hear one bounty, and it's not a problem to me, because when I go to party and a bounty me go for years, it's not my album release. Mm -hmm. I went to a party to just listen to music. If a bounty play, me enjoy it. If a budget play, if a beanie play, if a cartel, I'm not for me no business. I'm mean, gonna see a selector playing my song if it do anything for my career tomorrow. Mm. If my song never have the impact, the selector can't make it have the impact. Mm. No care what him go tell life on it, say. Okay. So I don't know what people are trying to achieve, but in that case, I heard about the footer case. It's not a plain of song. People are talking about big enough people. Selectors have to be careful if it's true. When you go to areas, know who you're big up, and sometimes the big enough allow it. Mm -hmm. Play music, cause and every time some people take big up, welcoming, mm. low big up thing, and low the chatting on the mic. Sometimes the selector them can't make the crowd move without talk. Like, is, are you come for listen or we come for your music? Are you in concert? Mm -hmm. Are you come for play music for the people them? So sometimes the talking on the mic lead to loose talking and unnecessary speech and it might go that way. But the general public, for know, disrespecting a selector is no achievement, especially for an artist. But that wasn't an artist and select a problem. That was a, like a year and how a turf and if you depend on my turf, you have to big me up still. Mm. You understand? But no mean if me big up one day, man, me mean no disrespect. Me might def, never know the vibes. Okay. You understand? So it's just all love the people them for think about and togetherness and work out on their differences. A simple thing that big up one man, not big up one man. Play one song, you play one song. We can't mash up Jamaica and dance all with that. All right. We're, we're going to take a break here, killer. When we come back, we want to talk about you now, many people think that you should be, you're now a legend. Don't answer it. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to ask you how you feel about being called a legend, if you believe that you're an, a legend. And we're going to try to explain why they say you should be a legend. When we come back right here on stage, Bounty Killer. Let's get into me.